Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the Modicon M221. In this video we're going to see how we can configure the graphic display, the TMH to GDB, along with the software Ecostruction Machine Expert basis. So let's go to the presentation. So, so far we have connected the, the display to the PLC M221. So now the idea is to start making some pages in the display so we can access to the different information that we have accessible for the for the display and also for the program so let's continue with this oops there we go so once we are in the display part okay we can see in the left part that we have some menus over here if we go to the messages is related to when we are had an issue trying to program something over here okay we're going to see that later but what is important here to start with this is the general properties this general properties is just the basic information for the display and you can see these two is the date and time that allows us to see in the top right corner of the display then when we configure the or we enable the display it just generate a random password that we can use and we also have the possibility to select the protect setup okay to access to some specific information from the setup menu okay we can disable this if we want and then we need to select the home page okay by default you have this one which is this view that you have over here okay and if i show you the screen right now <laughs> okay this is the setup menu okay it's very simple okay you have some useful information in case you want to access for example control info this is the information from the display then we can go back with the escape then we have control setup display setup and i believe one of this one uh, language contract background you have a lot of information over here which is the just the standard information for the for a display and plc okay let's see what is inside here in this case it asked me for a password and when we have created the application let me just show you it asked me for this one okay so if i six oops My bad. Oops, just hold on a minute. Let me in front of this. Six, eight, three, four. We should be able to access to the case and run okay as it give you more information in case you want to run a stop initialize or see alarms you have all the information over here okay there is no alarm configured so everything is good go back go back so this display allows us to see some useful information about the status okay which is the standard view which is this setup there is nothing else to do over here so let's continue with the presentation now we can select different home page as you can see here we can select the operator interface by default there is nothing over here okay so we can add some pages but we're going to cover that later what is important here is that on the general properties you have two keys okay that if you go back to the display part let me just show you you have the f1 and f2 at the bottom Okay, and then you can assign some actions over there. When you click on one of those, you can select from none to function or navigation. So you can create a function to write um, a number, a new value, or you can create a navigation. So to directly go to a specific page from the ones that we already um, they are pre-configured or from the one that we can add later. Then, 
it's much better if we can define our own uh, navigation or our own view in order to display some data. So that's why we need to create pages. And these are the buttons, okay? This one is to add a page, which has a plus icon. And in here we have different templates. So depending on the template that we have, we have a different view of what we're going to show. So we're going to cover all of them. Okay, but we're going to start with the first one. Okay, so let's continue with this. So we have all this. Okay. And if we select the menu, okay, we just need to go over here, operator. We can select this one, this icon, or we just right click, add page, and select one of the page templates. And if we add the menu template, okay, this is the view. Okay. This is the view that we're going to have on our display and for each page we have element we have the access to the different menus okay this one are this indication over here which are the key in the front okay this this assignment oh, it's much better in this way okay so you can see all the elements that the elements will depend on the view that we're going to have. Then we have R2, R3, and R4, which are the keys that we have, as you can see over here. And if you go to the display, okay, these are the key. These are the key, okay? And depending on which I press, you can see the description in the display. So let's see. You can see there, if I touch the second, it activates alarms, and if I activate this one, if we go back. Okay, that is the idea. So, for each type of template, we can select the elements, and the elements, we have the title, which is this part over here. Then we have the help, which is the help indication. Okay, we can specify and see something over there. And if we select on the elements, okay we can specify the different navigation that we can add we can specify a text and then the destination page to go and this is a small example so what we're going to do we are still working with the old application that we have for the conveyor belt so we're going to add a display in order to visualize some data so uh, and then we're going to add the direction action okay so to turn the mountain so let's start with this so um, I even changed the view of this. So this is the view. Sorry for that. Okay. This is all the elements and I can add over here the text and then the setup menu. Okay. For example, or we can select from the list of the default or our operator interface in order to make the navigation. And this is the example how it looks like. Okay. So I had defined the text and where I want to go. This is the help. So the idea now is to work with the application that we have already made in the previous videos, okay, with the conveyor belt. And now we're gonna add from the logic a display. So this is the idea now, okay. We're going to create a new page, menu template, change the name of the template that we have, and go directly to the conveyor belt, the system configuration. So let's open our application. Here, display, this is the messages, okay, everything is good. If you go to general properties, you can see over here that I have the home page, this one. But what I'm going to do now is to over here, right click, add page, I'm going to select menu template, Okay, over here, and then I'm going to change this name. Let me just change this view a little bit. <laughs> so the idea is to change this name now, in order to identify it later, to menu on for configuration. Okay, and now in the elements, what we're going to do is to add a title okay so for the title we need to click for this one change these to 
conveyor menu. We can add some help over here. Um, training um, 2 to 1 template for menu. Okay, we can also assign a password protected and also a page index. This index will allow us to access or change the, the page that we are using software using a uh, percentage SW on the PLC in order to access in case in case we want to make some logic to manually change what the operator can see we can set that variable to change the panel and change the visualization that we want that is the idea so let's continue with this so we have already changed the the menu as you can see this should be the visualization now let's try to go to the general properties and change this instead of select the setup menu now we have this one menu count and index zero okay now we have already configured that we want to go this one to be the main page now what we need to do is to add the menu the setup menu okay so here we need to specify the text and i'm going to specify as system configuration okay so and once this is finished this should be the the visualization on the HMI so let's go back to the software here let me just change this view okay Now let's connect with the PLC. Mm -hmm. Is everything connected? Power? Yes. Just want to show you that how it works. Going to download the application. Okay, overwrite. As you see, the transfer is in progress. Okay, and let's play this. And if by any chance you have a problem like like this, it just stay over there. You just remove the communication cable, connect it again. And then it should be working fine now. Okay, good. So you can see here that you have the conveyor menu. And when I was doing this, okay, I forgot to add over here. So now I have added the text. Now, if we don't load again, remember the add button over there. Configuration, download, override, yes. Okay, good. So I'm going to disconnect this and connect it again. Okay, now you can see this, the system configuration that I have configured over here. And if we select this, we just go to the initial configuration, which is the standard one. Okay, that is the idea of this part. If I press the home menu, we just go to the menu, which is the previous one. So let's continue with the presentation with this part. Okay, we have already accomplished this part. Now I have also mentioned to you that we have um, an internal memory inside the PLC. Okay, that allows you to see the index, this one over here. So if we go to the SW, just go to the software. 
SW84, which is the index. Okay, let's see the behavior of that index when I enter the system configuration. So if we go over here, okay, it goes to that page, and now if I press zero over here, it should go to the conveyor menu, which is the one that I have already defined, which has this index over here. Okay, so this is how you can change between different menus in the software. Let's continue with this. So now the idea is to use one of the keys that we have, for example, the F2 key, to activate a function. Okay, to activate a function as not. Okay, it's just to make a, um, a toggle. Okay, for a new variable that I'm going to create, which is the entry, in order to execute manually the output. So what we need to do is to open the software. We're going to disconnect from here. Okay. F2 key assign function not value. Okay. Percentage entry. Okay. Now, if we go to programming, we just need to go to the outputs. And over here, just put over here this, the new variable M3. Perfect. So now what we can do is to save this, connect to the controller. Let me just show you the view of the HMI. Just minimize a little bit this. Uh, login. Display. Nope. Programming. I have it on low. My bot. Load. Mm -hmm. Disconnecting. Okay, good. And play. So the idea now is to see that I, when I press the F2, which is in the button over here. Here it changed the status of the M3. You can see pressing and changing the status. So this is like a direct access to the information in case you want. And you can execute and change the values using the keys that you have in front of the of the PLC of the remote display. Just double check if it's something missing over here. <laughs> no, that's it for it. So, in here, in this video, we have seen how to use the menu template and how you add different navigation inside the menu and how you can use the percentage SW184 to change the index to visualize different um, pages of the display and how you can use the keys to modify the value inside. The, the code that you have. So this is for the menu template. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.